What is going on, everybody? My name is Nico. Welcome back to another Regulation H video. The ladder is officially live, and we are hopping on there with Altaria. This is going to be a lot of fun. This is a Parish song team. We have Altaria with Goldango. Goldango is very nice on Parish teams because you can rotate it out. It is unaffected by Parish song. Uh, so you can actually keep it in, just make it rain, nasty plot, do your thing. And then we have got the tell, obviously, to hold people in place. And then we've just got a really solid firewater grass core that can just rotate, 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 rotate in order to keep faking out and keep doing a bunch of damage while the Parish Song is active. Really fun looking team from Evan in the Discord, and I'm keen to see what we can do with the Altaria. The fire spin on it is very, very cheeky. Keep the Pokemon locked in place while Parish Song is active. That's a lot of fun. I like that a fair bit. So... Let's see what we can do with this team today, but what are your thoughts on Altaria? I'm a big fan of this Pokemon, but it just, it's so weird, uh, kind of mid in this, uh, game. So I, I just, you know, it's tough to fit it into a video, but we're doing it today. Let's get into some battles. Slacking. Okay. All right. We got to think here. I think this is the best course of action, truth be told um these two in the lead i feel like are pretty solid um from there i'm thinking rotom's a good bring in the back and i bring rillaboom as well wheezing slacking very obvious lead I think I go for the Tailwind in Nasty Plot this turn. They have Shadow Claw. Good God. That's terrifying. Tailwind goes up. They taunted, that's fine. And we just click make it rain. We do a rotation now. Um, what do they have in the back potentially that they could rotate it to? Rillaboom is an option. Um and Poleon's an option. So yeah, I think Rotom coming in is fine here. Make it rain's gonna connect. So close to the double. So close to the double KO. They are buried on the Weezing. They go for a Sludge Bomb. Took that pretty well. And Polion's gonna come to play. I gotta think. I think I just protect this turn. And I Volt Switch. Yeah, I just protect this turn and I Terra Electric Volt Switch onto the Weezing slot. We tear electric for the extra stab bonus. And, like, the idea is we KO that Pokemon here. And we can rotate in Altaria and set the Parish Song. Goldengo gets protected. No protect from them, which is ideal. Weezing goes down. Now we can set the Parish Song. And they have two Pokemon left, so it just becomes a battle of rotations.
We're going to get in Altaria. They go for flip turn. Not allowed. Not today, you don't. And it's Dragapult. All right. Uh, now it becomes a question of what Terra is the Dragapult. Like, do I get more value out of just going for Make It Rain here? Or do I Shadow Ball the Dragapult? We still have Tailwind up, correct? Yes, last turn of Tailwind. So we set the Parish Song. They're going to Terrasilize. It is going to be the Dragapult. Oh, they're Ghosts. We're fine. That's fine. That is A-OK -okay with me. Shadow Ball goes in. Because that's a dead Dragapult. Now we Perish Song. Doesn't affect Goldango. This is why Goldango is so good on these teams. And they flip turn into Altaria. That's going to do nothing. Tailwind's gone. Doesn't really matter. Oh, uh, we just Shadow Ball and Fire Spin this turn. And they gave us the battle. That's a GG. Very nice. Very nice. Alright, that's an interesting looking team. There's a lot happening there. Quite a bit happening there. Okay. I like these two as a lead. Rillaboom and Goldango doesn't seem too bad. I think that's the play. Torkoal and Spiritomb. Okay. We perish and we are going to have to taunt. It has to be the play. Okay, they protect. That's fine. That's literally best case scenario for us. Yes. Good. Good. This turn, we're just going to Fire Spin, and we are going to protect the Gothitelle. Because we can take a hit from Torkoal. I would venture a guess we can take a hit from Torkoal. Um, they withdraw the Spirit Tomb. That makes sense. Toxapex is going to come in. They go for Eruption. The Sun, it doesn't work because we have Altaria on the field. So that's helpful. And yeah, we took that like a champ. Nice.
I'm gonna go for a fire spin over there. And who do I have? Nothing that really likes Torkoal, to be honest. Um, I'm gonna fire spin there, and I'm gonna psychic Torkoal. That did good damage. They go for Toxic, that's fine. If they infested, it would have been better for them. Sludge Bomb. Sludge Bomb on the Torkoal is an interesting one. Okay. Now, we are in a rather tricky position, um, simply because of the fact that we have two Pokemon that really don't like Torkoal in the back. Um, so we kind of just have to hope. We have to double swap and we have to hope. Should have brought Incineroar, but, you know, here we are. <laughs> With the wrong Pokemon. Painful Bunker, cool. You didn't do anything this turn. We love that. They go for Sludge Bomb. Doesn't affect Gold Dango. Perfect. We swapped into the right slots. That's beautiful. Torkoal's dead. So... We, we lucked out there that they went for another Sludge Bomb. Spirit Tomb's gonna come back to play. I think we simply double the Spiritomb slot and just do as much damage as we possibly can to it. That's good damage. Woodhammer's gonna connect. Yep, that's dead. Nice. They go for Toxic onto my boom. That's kind of rude. Sunlight fades. Torterra comes to play. Okay. I'm pretty comfy doing this and going for a nasty plot this turn. They're also going to Terra. Terra the Torterra. Yep. There it is. I love that it's hats on the tree. I do rather enjoy that about Torterra. I, <laughs> I think that's pretty great. We get the nasty plot off. We U-turn. Nice. We can get Altaria back in. It's at the Parish Song. They Swords Dance up. Okay.
Parish song. Make it rain. <laughs> we could have just protected this turn, to be honest with you. Uh, we could have just gone for, like, a protect on Goldango. I just think the damage is worth it. Because we might just straight KO this Torterra. We do. Okay. Nice. Parish on connects. We go for Venishock into my Goldango. They must have called the Terra, because that wouldn't have affected a Steel type Goldango. Oh, I Terra the last turn, didn't I? Yeah, I did. That's why they did it. Duh. Doesn't matter. We've won at this point. We've got four Pokemon left, and they have one with the Parish Song counter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. Um, we can just go for this and Shadow Ball. And that's the battle, GG. Nice. Altaria. Pulling its weight. Pulling its weight. What in the shenanigans am I looking at? All right. There's some spice happening here. Um, There's also some expanding force shenanigans that I just don't like the look of. I think I'm going to go with these two first. These two first. They have so much trick room options. That's crazy. There's so much trick room happening here. Okay. These two. Um... I like Gold Dango a fair bit here. And then I'm thinking I bring Rillaboom. There's the Psychic Surge. Okay. I'm going to set the Parish Song, and I'm going to taunt the Ndidi. Altaria avoids, and that's huge. Parish Song is set. They have D-Gleam. Okay, good to know. Rock Slide Tauros, huh? I think we just protect this turn. Go for a Psychic with the Psychic Terrain into the Tauros slot. Altaria avoiding that first hit was huge. They go for another Rock Slide. They go for D-Gleam. As long as we don't flinch, I like this turn a lot. We get our berry proc. Even if we do flinch, I'm not mad about this turn, to be 100% honest. Psychic connects. Oh, that did so much damage. All right, we're gonna flip in Rillaboom to this slot and we're just gonna protect this turn. Rillaboom can take a Rock Slide really easily, and we're also going to change the terrain so we can just fake out Tauros on the subsequent turn. Yup. There's the Rock Slide. We're protected. Beautiful. D-Gleam's going to connect. Okay.
We can go ahead and just fake out Tauros and rotate in Goldengo. They're really thinking about this turn. Goth Tail goes out. We get Goldengo in. Take out the Tauros. If they go for another D-Gleam, fine. Okay, they went for Psychic. Perfect. Parish Count falls. Okay, down they go. What comes in? What do they have in the back? Okay. It is the Mimikyu. We're going to Grassy Glide break it. No Terra from their end, so that means we probably just take Mimikyu here. Lovely. Make it rain connects. Mimikyu's dead. Even if they set Trick Room at this point, it doesn't matter. They nasty plot. Okay. Ballsy. I like it. Uh, I just go for U-turn, and I Shadow Ball that slot. Ooh, Quick Draw. Forgot about Quick Draw. And they are going to Terrastalize. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Doesn't matter. It's probably a dead boom, yeah. Shadow Ball is going to connect. And that's just going to take the KO. That's a GG right there. Nice. Very nice. Okay, there's some shenanigans happening here. Um, yeah. How do I want to deal with this? This is not fun. I kind of want to do this. Bring Gothitelle in the back. And then for the last Pokemon, I'm leaning towards Rotom. The main reason is because they look like they just want to go for spams. And I can kind of abuse Rotom in that scenario. I'm also leaning toward just bringing Gothitelle as my lead. We have options for Fake Out and Taunt. And I kind of like that option. Alright, what do we got? Was that a Master Ball Incineroar? That's kind of crazy. All right, we're going to fake out Bronzong. We're immediately going to go for Parish Song here. We fake out. They fake out. We have Covert Cloak, so we get the Parish Song off. Beautiful.
I think what needs to happen now is go for a fire spin here. Terra Dark Taunt. This is going to let us basically take a knockoff, which is likely going to happen. The U-turn. Can't trick room after the taunt. You love to see it. Okay. I'm going to click Parish Song again and just protect this turn. That's the play. Now we'll put their bear on a timer. They are going to go for the facade. Okay, we bring in the boom. We're just going to go for the wood hammer and we're going to rotate it and rotate them. They are going to terrestrialize here. Terra Ghost, okay. Big Wood Hammer. Not enough. That's a bulky, bulky, bulky Pokemon right there. Facade into Rotom. I don't know that we win. I don't know that we win. Yeah, I definitely think we lose. Ah, uh, what what could I have done differently? Hmm. They shake off the taunt, but they go down this turn. We get in Goth Tell. They bring in a Rangaroo.
We're just gonna go for the fake out this turn. Yeah, we're cooked. We're cooked. What hammer connects? Yeah, with the attack drop, we can't even touch this Incineroar. We're just cooked. Good positioning on their part. I'm trying to think what I could have done alternatively. And I just don't know, to be honest with you. Because now we just get faked out. Yeah, we just lost. Ah, unfortunate. I'm trying to think. We had to bring Gothitel in the lead to deal with Bronzong or whatever was going to come set Trick Room up. That was our only play. I really, really don't know. Very cool team. Very cool team, Evan. I like this team a lot. It's good stuff, honestly. So basically, Altaria works in two different ways. You can lead it with the fake out user and get the uh, Parish Song down uh, like early in the game. Or like you saw in the one battle, we can use it as a tailwind setup. So that way, Goldango's allowed to outspeed everything. And then you could just simply sweep stuff with make it rain and then bring altaria back in in after there's like two pokemon ko'd and you can just set parish song and rotate to win the game so altaria has a, a lot of useful functions on this team i like the fire spin a lot as well forcing pokemon to stay in is very very beneficial for this team i like this a lot it's a lot of fun definitely give this one a go guys but that is gonna be it for this one i hope you all enjoyed if you did leave a like and sub for more videos like this in the future and if you want to share reg h teams to be featured in future videos be sure to check out the discord but until next time Peace.